What time is it? Hold up one second. Let me check my phone. Let me check my phone real quick. Okay. It's time to talk some gaming news, people. What's up? It's King Dub the Seventh. That's me right here. And you guys are the fans. Let's get right into this news. But before we get into the news, make sure you guys hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. I'll give you a couple of seconds to do so. Alright, that was enough time. Let's talk about this Destiny news that I found on the internet. Now, I know as I said Destiny, there was a collective groan. A collective groan of the like people, the two people who are watching this video right now. But it's very interesting. It's not necessarily good news. It's good news if you just like Destiny content. But to me, I just thought it was stupid. It's very interesting news though. So, a lot of people know that Destiny 2 is supposed to be released this year in 2016. But it's been pushed back. That's not the interesting news. A lot, everybody just about knew that. The interesting news is the fact that a new Destiny DLC will be released. Re did I say released? Released in 2016. That DLC is called, right now, we don't know if this is an official name yet, it is called Rise of Iron. It will be debuted in June, which is in like three days. It will most likely be released at E3, which is not in three days. And then the actual DLC will most likely come out in September. Now rumor has it that this game will be the end of the Destiny franchise. But wait, didn't you just say Destiny 2 is releasing? Yes, that's where this gets interesting. Rise of Iron will be the end of the Destiny franchise as we know it now. This story will be ended. Destiny 2, which was supposed to be released in 2016, will be released in 2017, but it will be a reboot. Wait, the second game of this franchise is supposed to be a reboot? That's right. The second game of this franchise is a reboot. Usually you don't see developers and publishing companies reboot a game until like after the like third or fourth game because they want to just grab all that cash and just keep making money from the game that they created. So they just want to restart the story and make a new story. Like Assassin's Creed will have a reboot after the 100th Assassin's Creed. It will have a reboot in 2017 also. I bet you guys didn't know that. But Destiny will be having a reboot in 2017 after its second game. What does that mean to you? Because when I look at Activision and Bungie telling me that they will be rebooting their game after only one game to me that says sorry we know that we messed up very badly with our story we know it didn't make sense we know it was barely a story we know that we took out parts of the story and gave it to you guys as dlc so we're going to reboot this and hope you give us another chance we are sorry that's basically what they said if you read between the lines if you read between the lines that's what they're saying now, do I trust Activision and Bungie with a Destiny 2 reboot? Kind of, halfway. Now, let me tell you why I say halfway. The person who will be directing Destiny 2 is the person who directed Destiny Taken King, which story-wise was awesome for Destiny. Gameplay-wise, it introduced a lot of stuff that you can arguably hate and say ruined the game a little bit sort of but story wise it was great for the game now the reason why they are rebooting destiny is because bungie is being reorganized which is a quote that i took from an article bungie is being reorganized by activision that means that activision they're basically kicking the people out that they don't want working at Bungie anymore like Marty O'Donnell and other people who have quit Bungie and they're replacing them with people who they see fit now I don't trust Activision 
with anything after I saw what they did and I'm seeing what they're doing with Call of Duty. Go look at Call of Duty Infinite, look at the dislikes on that video and then come back and say that you trust them with Destiny 2. Now I know what you're saying, just like it's all about fan perception, that has nothing to do with the actual game, but Call of Duty is not the best game in the world. Another reason, a, bu a bunch of people, excuse me, I don't know what the heck that was, a bunch of people may be saying that, hey, it's still Bungie, I trust Bungie. But is it still Bungie? As I just said, Bungie is being reorganized. It's not the same Bungie that made Halo 1. Not the same Bungie that made Halo 2, not the same Bungie that made Halo 3, not the same Bungie that made Halo Reach. This is not the same Bungie that even made Destiny. It's not the same Bungie that made those awesome first person shooter mechanics that we love in Destiny 1. Will I try it? Possibly. But I'm not sure it will be a good game. I would love to hear what you guys think about it. What you guys think about this news. Will you buy Destiny 2? Are you excited for Destiny 2? Are you excited for the new DLC? So many questions to ask. Only you have the answers to these questions. This is Keen Dub signing out. Peace.